Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to walk you through proper configuration of the Zoom app for use with USB mixers. My name is Luke. I'm from AB Now. We have been helping fitness instructors with USB mixers. Uh, we've had three different types, so this lesson can be applied to the Behringer Q802, the Alessis Multimix 8, and the Studio Master C2S-2. So as you see here, I am in the Zoom app. I'm on a Windows desktop and I'm going to go ahead and launch a new meeting. You'll be prompted. Once it loads, you'll be prompted to join the computer, join with computer audio. You're going to want to select that. You can also automatically join audio by computer when joining a meeting. If you're always going to want to have this setting enabled. So now essentially what Zoom is configured is to take audio that's running through my computer and send it out to participants. So you're gonna be using the mixer as your hub to send the audio out to your participants. So right now we have a few settings that we're gonna to need to adjust to get this ready for use with the USB mixer. When you're in the meeting, click the up arrow on the bottom left-hand corner next to the microphone. That'll bring up a drop-down menu. Click audio settings. Once you're in the audio settings, you're going to want to set a few of these settings in here. The speaker is the first setting, and you'll see that it is set to Realtek High Definition Audio. That's the built-in speakers on a PC computer. If you have a MacBook, it may say MacBook Air speakers. The reason why you set your speaker is so you can hear the participants in your class speak back to you. If you're a personal trainer or need feedback from your clients, and you need to hear them, you can hear them through the computer's built-in speakers. Keep in mind, if you're on an iOS device, uh, iPad, iPhone, or Android phone, a lot of those devices, when they have something like a USB mixer plugged in, don't have, have the talkback feature, so you're actually not gonna be able to hear your participants. Next is the most important input, is the microphone setting here, and you'll notice it's actually bouncing as I speak because I'm using a Shure wireless microphone speaking through a Studio Master C2S mixer. And I have my mixer set to my microphone input in Zoom. So there is one little bit of confusion here. The microphone input is actually the mixer and the mixer has both the mic and the music put together, right? So you're just using the mixer as a microphone input here. So you're gonna wanna select line USB audio codec and that'll be your mixer option. Zoom has had a few different adjustments lately. I want to make a note really quick before we move on that I am up to date on the most up to date software that Zoom is providing. So um, these next settings may look a little bit different than what you're seeing on your app here. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it. But if you scroll down after you've set your microphone, you're going to see this section called music and professional audio. And there's a button here that says show a meeting option to turn on original sound. You're going to want to click that box. And before I click this, I want you to put your eyes up here next to this little green shield and watch for this box that populates right here. Once you click that, boom, there you go. So now you have the option to turn on original sound in your class. You're going to always want this checked here. The button also enables three additional options you have the high fidelity music mode echo cancellation stereo audio you're going to want to make sure that high fidelity music mode is enabled echo cancellation is disabled and stereo audio is enabled once you've achieved those settings you are set and ready to go in this box here but you have one more task to complete you're going to want to exit out of these settings and now when you're in your meeting, people may start hopping in. You'll notice that down here, I have my microphone muted. So I'm going to want to unmute myself. You'll notice that there is indicator lights on the microphone flickering as I speak. It's a good way to see what's going on in Zoom. The last thing as an instructor, when, use, when using the USB mixer, you're going to need to turn on the original sound. This is a toggle button, meaning that it will literally do what it says it will do. So you need to have original sound on while teaching. So you need to make sure that you turn on original sound. There you go. This is exactly how you want your Zoom app to look like when you're using a USB mixer 
blending your voice over the music that you're playing and using on the Zoom app. Thanks again for stopping by. Feel free to reach out with any questions and thank you.